Welcome back guys to Foundation. Oh my God, so much of it is working again. It's awesome. Now, uh, let's see, two days ago, I put out a video uh, kind of explaining the last update and the fixes that they put in and stuff. And then today I came to play it. I did a bunch of research on it on yesterday, but I was mainly playing uh, uh, Meet New Zero. Uh, after after it was finally unlocked, I was. They said it would be unlocked anytime after eight in the morning, and I, I eventually had to wait till like, like five thirty for it to get unlocked, and then I had to do a lot of research on it and, and see what was going on because a lot has changed in uh, Mutant Year Zero. Anyway, um, oh, and I spent like I spent like about six hours working on a on a PC video, uh, and I've done like the first minute or so. No. Yeah, about the first minute or so of that video. It's taken me six hours to do like the first minute. You'll like when you see the video, you'll understand why. It's kind of freaking awesome, actually. Um, anyway, should we get to foundation? Yes, shut up, guy. Talk about foundation. So they've put out another update today, and I can't believe it. I I talked to them like a few days ago and said um, one of the things that really kind of I do find annoying is when I open up like a bunch of windows. Uh, let's say I'm looking for somebody and I, I open up a bunch of windows. There's no way to close them all down. And uh, and Philippe, one of the developers, said, um, "Okay, well, well, we'll see what we can do about that." And I thought, "Yeah, okay, so like, you know, maybe maybe in a month's time we'll get that." Oh my God, backspace. <laughs> Not only, but they took it further. Not only that, but now pressing Escape will close the currently focused window. Right, so. If I just want to like close a few of them down, I uh, let's get rid of that one. I want to get rid of that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. And the difference it makes to the game. I, I mean, I know it. It seems like a little thing, but when you're doing that repeatedly, you know, having to close them down, because you can only close them down by clicking on the X and clicking on the X on each one of these windows. Like after you've done done it like a few thousand times, gets a little frustrating. Anyway, they've so they've done that. It's all sorted out. Um, I haven't had chance to ask them about the the farmers and the farmers pausing. I will uh, I will ask them as soon as I get a chance. Let's crank this up because I want to show you the behaviour now because the behaviour is, is different. Where's our little friend? Where's our little friend? Mail 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 six three six two three. Somebody suggested that I ask the developers to change the name of mail six two three to Sky. That would be kind of cool. I might I might you never know. So let's um, let's follow him around. Uh, oh, but they've added a view home button. Oh, I did it. That's not even in the. That's not even in the patch notes. That's staggering. So now we know that he lives here. Oh, that is so freaking cool and awesome. That, you know, they they are making this game like better and better and better. So where are you? Here he is. So he's just done a bit of work. No, oh, now looking to fill my needs. No, no, he's gathering wheat for a bit. They are, they are still pausing a little bit, but not as much as they were. Now, he's going to go up here. He needs some religion. And he's going to the local church. <laughs> oh, yes. He goes to the local church. I'm preparing to work. Now, I've got to say, at that point, he should have gone and got some food. Because they've changed the behavior. Um, so that now, they will try and satisfy all of their needs at one go. Rather than going back to work and whatever. And for some reason, he's not satisfying his food. Now, when I tested this out before, I found that the behavior, like at the beginning, was a little bit erratic, but then it kind of sorted itself out. And they were, like, filling their needs all in one go, which was awesome. But he's working so much better now. Little bit of a pause in between each different action. So he's like, like look, at fill my needs, there's a pause, and then he goes off and does it. But there are still some things that I need to change because look, he's off going over here. Now, they've added this bit of little bit, little bit of debugging down at the bottom. Um, he has reserved some bread. So he's getting some bread, even though he's a surf. Now, this is something that's, that's definitely changed because surfs used to only eat berries, but now they eat everything. They eat uh, berries, they eat bread, they eat fish. So he has decided, oh, I want to eat some bread right and the problem is that there's no bread up here or the three bread that is here is already reserved people have already reserved that so he's then gone well when's the, where's the next nearest market so he's gonna go and wander off 
across the bridge and he's going to go to a a bread market somewhere over here oh apparently there's no bread here either and this is the problem because we're very low on bread he's having to go yeah right over to the other side of the freaking map to get some bread <laughs> which which is a big problem but this is something that's within our control. We can fix this, right? The, the church thing, we couldn't fix. We needed the developers to fix that. Now that they fixed it, we need to just get this under control. Now, this applies to both um, bread, right? But also to fish, right? So we're going to have to get uh, a lot more fish going on. So let's get some more fish going on. Bye-bye, um, 623. Is it 623? 632? 623? I think it's 623. Yeah, so uh, let's get some stuff built. First thing we want is some more fish coming in. So let's have fishers huts. Let's turn you around. Let's have some fishers huts over here. Now, oh, I was gonna say, why can't I build that fishers hut? But maybe if I, oh yeah, I can get it further down here. So let's have, um, let's have fishers hut there. Actually, you know what? I might have them angled like that because it kind of looks good. One, two, three. I'm gonna have four fishermen on that side. And let's see. I think probably just a couple of fishermen on this side. Uh, if I can actually get it out, oh, there we go. There we go, a couple of fishermen on that side. Awesome, right, uh, let's let this run so that they actually start getting some of this done. Oh, one thing that I did mean to do before I started this episode was to change, where is it? to change all of my unemployed people to be builders. And yeah, that does take a little bit of time because there's, there's so freaking many of them. So look, if we go down here, yeah, look at all these unemployed people. I want to change all of those to builders. So you know what, I'll, I'll do that off camera. I'll probably do that in a minute. So I think that we, um, we need to, we need to break this bread cycle, which is going to be really, really difficult, to be honest. Uh, but but we're going to do it. We are going to do it. We have got a couple of farms, a couple of mills over here. We've got three farms, two mills over here. We've got three mills, three farms over here. I think what we need to do is just provide like as much as much wheat as possible to try and get the mills producing as much as possible. Bakeries wise, we've got a couple of bakeries over here. We've got another one, two in the center. So we've got four bakeries in, the, in this in the city. We've got one, two bakeries over here. And we've got two bakeries over here, which I think if we can start producing like enough wheat to then produce enough flour, you know, we should be producing enough bread, but I guess we'll find out. So let's get, uh, what do I want? I want a wheat farm, another wheat farm, uh, wheat farm. Um, all right, cool. I think guys, at this point, I should probably assign all of the builders. It probably make things easier, but I, I, I don't know. Maybe I can assign the fishermen. So let's see. Um, you're a stone cutter, stone cutter. Your forager, forager. See, this is where, you know, this is what I've been doing to open like loads of windows and then I have to close them all down. Whereas now it's all gonna work perfectly. So let's see, your forager, forager, and you are, okay, we've got one forager there. So you can be a fisherman. You can be a fisherman, where is it? So there's one, how many do we need? Um, what did I, I put in six, didn't I? No. I, no, I don't think they're doing anything, so I'm going to convert them. So let's see, we want fishermen and fishermen. Oh, well, I don't think they were even assigned. Okay, well, that's sorted out now. So now we've got six more fishermen. Hooray! And there was much rejoicing. Okay, so, so we're going to be bringing fish in. That should help us have fish in the markets here, which will be good news, like generally. We could still do, let's say we've got, we've got fish coming in over here. We've got fish coming over here. That's gonna bring some fish in here. I think we could still do with some more fish. 
I'm thinking maybe a couple of fishermen down here even. Um, yeah, probably. Let's get let's get this going. I think. So I need I need three people in this house here. Uh, you're both assigned, aren't you? Yeah, you are the two millers. I think we're going to need two more houses going in here. So let's have uh, say one there. Extend you a little bit, and we'll have one say there. Cool. There we go. And somebody going to build a house here? Like eventually, probably. Let's encourage them a little bit. Let's put in a few decorative bushes next to this house. There we go. Should make that a bit more attractive and encourage them to build. Although sometimes it's just they want to build in a particular orientation. And you just need to make this a little bit bigger. Which you can, it shouldn't, but. Oh, see, there you go. I made it a little bit bigger and instantly they built it. Alright, cool. So we've got two houses being built there. I can assign three other people who live there to be farmers. So I'll click on you. You're going to be a... Now, I just want to make sure they go to the right place. In fact, I think they get the only place they can go is there. So uh, let's see. You are not Forrester. Stop it. I, I don't know why this window keeps doing this, but it does. I don't know whether that's intended behaviour or not. I'll mention that to them. Um, so that's you two, and then we want one of you, which will be you. You're going to be a farmer. All right, so that's added three more farmers. Uh, what we do need to do is extend the field for these guys. So let's take it out into this whole area. That should give them loads of room, I would have thought. So we'll... We'll see if they actually do it now. Is anybody going to come to work? Come on, farmers. Come to work. Come and get planting. So look. One of them one of them hasn't bothered yet. He's probably off doing something else. But two of them two of them are, are ready to go. We just need one of them to turn up. Oh, here we go. Hooray! Eating out. Uh, no, I'm keeping everything at the moment. And off they go. Hooray. Good. So they're happy. Right, so that's going to be bringing us in a bit more wheat. Which will help keep our millers going. I think we may need to end up putting in like a couple more farms and like another mill. Maybe at least. Maybe we may need to do more of that. Breaking out of this cycle is going to be difficult. Because like the farmers at the moment are ending up still wandering all over the place. Uh, trying to get bread and fish. It is what it is. But we're bringing fish in over here now. So that's awesome. And we've got transporters set up to come and grab it. And they'll take it over to the uh, to the marketplaces. Where have I got fish set up? I've got fish set up. That's berries. Fish. Hooray! And we've got fish in the market. But that still means if, if these guys over here want fish, they've got to come all the way over to the city to get it. And that is not good enough. So we're going to come up here. We're going to put in... A market. Where are we? Market, 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 market. And we want a food market. And I think I'm just going to put it kind of there. Yeah, because I might, I might extend it a bit later. So we'll put you there. Let's get that built, and we'll assign that one to be fish. So then we'll have berries, clothes, bread, and fish, which is all the stuff that they need, which is awesome. All right, sweet. Oh, look at that. I love these big wheat fields. Who knows? I might even add, a, add in a third farm here. Just because I like the really big wheat fields. But that is going to help. Even just a little bit more wheat is going to help. That's going to keep the, the millers able to, to mill a bit better, produce a bit more flour. And a bit more flour is going to turn into a bit more bread. And as we get more bread... So there's a chance that there's going to be bread in this market. The farmers will be able to get their bread here instead of like wandering all the way over here, which means that they'll be able to spend more time getting bread, uh, uh, getting wheat. And that's going to mean that then there's more bread available. And like as it, 
as we start to break out of the cycle, suddenly we'll find we've got like a thousand bread in stock. But it's like just getting there is the issue. Now I don't need two churches over here anymore, but the reason I put this one in kind of like this was because I wanted it to look like a bit of a barn. And uh, I think it kind of does. I think it kind of does. Yeah, kind of, kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of, ish. A lot of people saying that there, there aren't doors on it on any of the churches. Um, yeah, there's, there is a door on that church. Um, this one, I'm not sure about. There was at one point, I built and unbuilt, I built this church and then reloaded and built it again and reloaded and built it again. Whether it's got a door on at the moment, I've no idea. I can't, I can't see one, but it has had a door on it in the past. Um, I think, I, I don't know. Let's see. One, two, three. Building park count is four. So yes, it has got a door. It's buried under the ground at this end. So we've got one part, two part, three parts. And then there's a door buried under the ground here. I thought there was. You can't see it, but there is. Uh, this church here, people have been saying, this church has got no doors. Yeah, it has. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six doors. <laughs> so, yeah, it's got doors. All right, cool. Right, we've got that market built. Sweet. So, market, we want to... Let's see. We've got a spare person in this house, haven't we? You're the farmer, you're not doing anything. So you're gonna be market tender here. Uh, so let's see, what do I want? I wanna sign this for fish. And then I wanna, ah. I wanna be able to see the market when I assign this person. Cause I wanna make sure that they go and work here and not anywhere else. So we assign you as a market tender. Yes, awesome. This is going to be a lot easier when I assign everybody as builders than I can just like unassign that one person and then just assign them from the building. Just go to the building and click on the sign a person and it will have to be the person that I want. So that's cool. Alrighty, so now hopefully we'll get some fish in there. Now I've set up this warehouse, uh, berries, bread, wheat, now, we don't really need wheat in here because we've got the wheat like very close. I would kind of like wheat in here, but I think I'm going to change this to fish. Yeah, I'm going to change that to fish. So hopefully they'll they'll go and get the fish from like over here. And what we can do, this is very, 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 you know what? I'm going to change that to fish so that these can't transporters can bring fish from kind of over here. And then these transporters may only have to go to there to get some fish to stock up. But that's cool. That's fine. We've got plenty of clothes going on. Not a lot of, like, berry. I would have expected to see berries in here. I don't know why we haven't got berries in here. I don't know what our, our guys are. There is... They've fixed a lot of the problems with moving stuff around a lot of the transportation issues uh whether there are still issues out of there i do not know i do not know we'd have to we'd have to see oh my god we've got 11 bread in this market we're up to 40 bread we've got some berries no fish yet all right well uh where i do want to put some fishermen down here to start start the process of bringing some fish in um, the, the problem is like, I can put the fishermen down here, but where are they going to live? Because then I've got to put houses in and then it's like, yeah, I don't really want houses over here. I suppose, I mean, I could have them living like somewhere over here, I suppose. But even that, I'm not particularly, you know what, I'm just going to put two in and I'll have them living like relatively close by. So let's have, let's have a couple of guys in. So... We'll have, oh, try again. I have one there and one there. That'll look all right. So a couple of fishermen there, and then we're gonna need a house for them. Maybe, maybe pop in a, a house here. Yeah, go on. we'll do that. Do I, do I, do I, do I, uh, it's so difficult, because I want the place, I do want the place to look nice. I, I might have to put a house in here, I think. Like one house here isn't going to hurt. If I can actually get them to put a house in. There we go. Thank you. 
Alrighty, so let's have you two assigned as fishermen. Shall I wait until these get built first? Nah, it should be fine. It should be fine. This just there shouldn't be any spare fisherman slots. So fisherman and fisherman. Hooray! And now I can press the escape key and get rid of my windows, and that makes me so happy. Alright, cool. How are we doing? 56 bread. Oh, we all, we hit 60 bread there for a millisecond. We're, our berries is going up, which is nice. Our cash is going up, which is a really good sign because it means that you are selling stuff like properly. Should we have a quick look at the budget? So a quick look at the budget. And let's see. So, oh my God, we made 1,600 last week. That's pretty awesome. And it tells you, it does tell like your mouse over, it tells you like where all your all your costs are, where it's coming from in terms of villager consumption. It's very cool, it's very cool. I would expect, um, let's see. Uh, bread's twice as expensive as, uh, as berries, or brings in twice as much revenue. But I'd still expect us to be selling a few more berries than that. I'm wondering if I wonder if any of our berry sellers aren't actually working. That's bread, that's fish. That's berries and we've sold some this week, so that's working. That's got berries and we sold some. This one over here. Yeah, yeah, oh my god, they're all working. <laughs> it's seriously. When this game works, it's awesome. So, like I I can't I, I can't believe they they fixed it all so quickly. I'm keeping it all. Go away. And I, I keep forgetting to close the windows with um, escape or backspace. All right, cool. Well, well, what shall I do next? I mean, really, it's just a case of um, of getting the bread supply increase. So I think at this point I should go off. I should assign all of the builders, and I'll see how the bread's doing. I'll maybe assign some more some more farms or whatever and uh, and we'll see um, we'll see if we can get the bread up okay well literally all i've done is um is update all of the villages to builders which has taken me like a couple of minutes if I, actually if i sort them by job so that you can actually see that properly let's try that so sort them by job i've got to say this actually should be static that shouldn't be part of this window so it should stay there when you scroll down but never mind that's a minor thing. So yeah, look, there's there's no unemployed and we've got millions of builders now. But I did that and I noticed that our bread was starting to get up. I think it just popped over 100. Now let's see, we're, we're over 100 fish. That's awesome. The bread is getting there. And I, I, I got a warning about a field um no no farmers field and it was because they'd actually filled this one so i've just extended it a little bit you can see i've, ju I've just extended that that part there a little bit which um, that's a really good indication because that means that they're planting a lot i wonder if these guys are going to run into the same problem they might they might let's see because they're spending less time wandering around the world they're spending a lot more time planting and so they're running out of space. That is such a good sign because that means our farmers are going to produce a lot more wheat. More wheat translate. And look, our mills are working. Okay, that one's just stopped. That one's not working at the moment. What about our mills over here? Oh, no. That one's working. That one's not. Yeah, that one's working. I mean, they don't work like 100% of the time, but... It's like if they're working a lot more of the time, then that's good. Look, they filled this. They weren't filling that before. Now they filled it. They've actually nicked a bit off this field as well. I wonder if they'll plant some more over here. They may well do, or maybe over here. I may need to extend this even further. That's why I haven't put this fence back in, because I may have to extend this further. Oh, and you know what? Look, they're not taking long pauses. A oh, little bit of a pause, but it's only a very short one. Whereas before they were standing there for like oh, a good, maybe 10 seconds or whatever. Oh, that was straight back in. 
Oh, look at this. 44 wheat. Oh, hell yes. I got three in there. But that's got 44 wheat sitting there waiting to be taken. That's awesome. How are we doing at the farms over here? That's got 102. That thing's maxed out. That's got 56. Okay. Need more millers. Now, how are we doing for flour? See, flour's still not really getting up there we need another mill we need another mill <laughs> we need another wheel where am i going to put a mill i don't know <laughs> running out of space um i could probably squeeze a mill in here couldn't i yeah of course i could of course i could we're mill it needs to be turned around it needs to be facing the same way as this one so something like i'll have to put a fence in front and get rid of some of these trees do you have it right there maybe Maybe down a touch. There, that'll do. Okay, so we'll get a mill in there. That means I've got to put in another house for a couple of millers. Um, I should probably wait for the mill to get built first. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I suppose. They're walking a bit of a distance now to get to this market. That's the only problem. I mean, it's not that freaking far. It's certainly not as far as walking to the other side of the map. So it, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, but I'm thinking, I wonder if I could get them to put in a house. Kind of just there would be nice, to be honest. Will you? I, I don't think they will, but we'll try. Will you put... Go away. No, it's all mine. All the stuff. Oh, yes, I got them to put a house in. Sweet. Uh, why did I do that? I don't know. don't know. I'm getting too excited. Uh, let's drink you down and tidy you. There we go. Yeah, not that it matters, but I don't know. It's just, it's just the OCD kicking in. So uh, you two are going to be a couple of millers, but currently you will be assigned as builders. So what I do now, this is how it's going to work from now on. What I'll do is unassign you as a builder, unassign you as a builder. All right. So now I have got two unemployed people and only two unemployed people, uh, which I can't see because it's not sorted by job. See, that, that's why this sort bit needs to be a different window. That needs to be static, and then you should scroll through the rest. I'll mention that. I'll mention that to Philippe when I speak to him. So these two, yeah, I've got two unemployed people. So as soon as they build this mill, I can just click on Assign Available Villagers, and it'll be those two people living there, which is awesome. <laughs> Sweet. So I tell you what, while we're waiting for that to get built, let's take a little look at uh, the life of male 623 so and see how he's behaving now so he's um he's gathering his wheat oh and he's gathering it nice and fast looking to fill my needs right let's see what he does so he goes home and he'll satisfy his home need so that's him having a little bit of a little bit of a sleep oh and he's going back to he's going back to this that's not working the way the developers want it to when he goes off to fill one of his needs, he should fill the rest of them at the same time. Yeah, he's doing them one at a time. That's not the way it's supposed to work. So it's not perfect yet, but it's a hell of a lot better than it was. Looking to fill my needs. Okay, so he's, he's done his house, he's done his water, food. Now, he's, ah yes, he's getting some fish and he's gone there, hooray. And he's gonna go to the church as well. Now that's good, that's efficient. So he's satisfied his food and his religion. And then he's back to work. Oh my God, that is so much better. Bread is trying to break over a hundred. I think if we get this um, this second mill in to produce a bit more flour, we might we might be on a winner. I'm just wondering whether to put a baker and a tailor over here. I, I gotta say. I don't really want to. I'd like to sort of centralise the, the, the bakeries and the tailors over here. I think we might be able to get away with like having a baker over here. I really don't want to have a tailor over here. I want Because they're these kind of nice green roofed buildings. I think they look great in the city. But for the, for the suburbs. So I like all of these kind of villagey type houses. I wouldn't mind having like a few upgraded houses. But but not significant amounts of upgraded houses. 
Uh, and you can see that I've rolled the game back to before I switched on um, house upgrading. We need to get all of our food supplies and everything up. And I need a lot, I, I need more, I don't know. I, I might be able to get away with the amount of wood that I've got, but, um, uh, uh, but I definitely need a bigger stock of planks going on before I do the upgrading. Come on guys, get this blooming thing built. That is one thing that we probably do need over here is a warehouse. Maybe put a warehouse in here with a with a couple of transporters just to bring like tools and planks and logs and stuff over here because currently they're having to go at least into the city and I'm not sure I've got even those in the city set up now. I did. I did have a sawmill set up. Should we do that? Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, what do I want? I want a sawmill going on in the town. In the city, I should say. Because it's not unreasonable that on the outskirts of the town you'd have a, you'd have some carpenters going on. So I think throw a little throw a little sawmill in there. And then we want a warehouse to bring wood into the city to be used by that sawmill. So the question is, where do I want to put it? And I think I want to put it kind of sort of there. Now, if I put it there, they should go in from this side because the entrance is on this side. So it should just be a walk from there, oh, well, sorry, from there to there to get his logs, which would be awesome. So go on, we'll put this in there. Boom, in you go. So we need, uh, we need a couple of carpenters assigned over there. Let's have a look at you. You are, you're a builder. Not anymore. You're a builder, not anymore. And then we want a couple of transporters to work there. How about these people that live here? Yep, don't want you as a builder and don't want you as a builder. I should have assigned those millers first, really. But, but we should be fine. I see, okay, so I want the people who are living in this house, don't I? Yep, I should, I should have done this before I undid those other people but yeah it should be fine so 11.33 and 15, uh, 15.79 so a sign boom boom yes got them both excellent cool the thing is when you do that when you when you click assign available villager it just assigns like the closest people and they can kind of be anywhere or at least they could before when people were wandering all over the place for churches now they're they're going to be closer to where they live so a lot better a lot better. Sawmill built yet? No, not yet. Won't take long though. They just need 10 stone. Female 1355 is bringing that. What do we need for the warehouse? We just need a bit of stone for that. Male 170 is bringing that. Here we go. Stone's arrived. Oh, that's going to be up and running in no time. Sweet. So I used, I used the people in these two houses, didn't I? Yeah. You and you. And, and, and like which one works at which place doesn't matter. So I'll just, just assign them. Come on, get it finished. Mail 1355, slacker. Boom, boom. 836 and 671. Perfect. Perfect. But the problem is they're gonna have to they're gonna have to go miles to get their logs. They're gonna have to go all over like here probably to get their logs. Which is no good. Oh here we go. So what do we want? We want now I want to keep a bit of a stock in here because I want them used for building as well. So let's have um, I think we'll probably have two lots. Each one of these slots is 50 capacity. Let's assign the two villages, which should be the two people living in this house. Oh and it is. Sweet! <laughs> it's all coming together, guys. It's all coming together. All right. So how are we doing? We're still stuck at around that hundred mark on the bread. Can we? Can we get berries? He's going gangbusters. We're up to fourteen hundred. That's staggering. Oh, 110. Let's see. It, it will. It will take a minute or two for it all to filter through. But. Yeah, so I was saying, like, I don't want a tailor over here, but a baker, we could have a baker over here. We could have a baker. How's the flower situation? 
I want to see the flower number kind of getting up. And that's getting a little bit better now. It is getting a little bit better. Look at how fast they plant now. Cranking it out. Go, 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 little farmers. Here we go. They're going to fill up this whole field. They, they really are cranking out the wheat now. 37 in there, 13 in there. What have we got over here? We've got 71 and 91. So yeah, we have got loads of wheat. We've got 279 spare wheat at the moment. This is coming up. Flour's coming up. 42, 43. Yeah. Oh man, it's working. It's working. <laughs> this game's so damn good, but it works. All right, so the question is, um, do we need another mill? I, I seriously think now the thing that's holding us up is the mills because, yeah, we've got loads and loads of wheat. Where could I put in another mill? Now, I was thinking about extending over here and having another farm over here, and I could probably have a couple of mills over here. Um, but then I'd need to have another warehouse probably. I don't know. I don't know. I can, yeah, well, the thing is, I don't, I don't want this to become too darn big. We've got we've got one village here. We've got one village here. That's like probably as much as I want. I could. I don't know. Can I get another? Can I get another mill somewhere over here? Uh, have you? Are these? Are these got loads of? No, that's ten and three. And. It's just those two farms there, isn't it? So those two mills are kind of dealing with, with that fine. Uh, let's have a look at this. So you're 38, 16, 20. So we're kind of dealing with that as well. So yeah, it's, it's the ones over here that are really overproducing. 29, 3, 58, 73. Oh, our flowers up to 60. So we are producing excess flour. Now that should mean that our bakers are pretty much producing at full speed. So let's, um, let's have a look at our bakers then. So you haven't got flour. Now one of these should be, yeah, so Okay, so our transporter is bringing in some flour. But just a little bit slowly. We've got 50 cloth waiting for our tailor, so that's why our tailors are producing millions and millions of clothes, which is awesome. I think, guys, I think we need to put a baker over here. I think the flow of flour into the cities isn't quite kind of maxed out yet. Um, where would we put a baker? I'm thinking that uh, I, I kind of would like our bacon more here. I was going to put it up here, but then it's a bit of a walk to get down here. Whereas if we put it there, it'd be kind of perfect. He's only got a fairly short trip to the mills then. I could even put it over this. The, the thing is, there's no path through here other than going all the way around there. So, I mean, I suppose we could put it there. See, who's working here? Who's working here? We've got, oh, it's the two millers. Well, we could, we could move them and put the bakery there, which is on the edge of the market. So that's probably, I don't know. I think, I, I think that might work. Yeah, go on, let's do that. All right, so uh, our two millers, I'm gonna say you're not a miller anymore. Uh, in fact, what I should say is you're not a miller, you're a builder and uh, you, Oh, that was you. You're not a miller. You're a builder for a while while I do this. Cool. Then knock their house down. Boom. Then put in the bakery. That's not what I want. This is what I want. Bakery. So the bakery's going to go in here. I'm going to leave a bit of extra room. And I'm going to put a couple of more market stalls in there, I think. So let's push that back to kind of there. 
Boom. That's that. Let's let it run. And then I'm going to want a couple of houses. So I'm going to want a house for the bakers. Which I guess... I mean, I could put here. I could put maybe up here. Maybe up here. I don't really want to get rid of too many of the trees. I want to keep some of these trees. I want to keep it having a feeling of having some trees. So let's try and get a house to go in up here. Come on. Come on, house. There we go. Thank you. Finally. Trim that off. And then... Um, so I need a house for the millers. The Miller family. Where are the Millers going to go? God. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I don't know, like... I'm just wondering, if I put a house kind of up here, whether I can get them to, to bridge and have a path come in from this side and from this side. It'd be really nice. Uh, go on, let's do it. Let's do it. So, if I put in a house somewhere up... That'll do. That'll do there. That's fine. Now, this church... I don't think... Is this church being used at all? Yeah, it is. Cool. And oh, so we've got the path going up there. So yeah, if we can get a path linking up here, and yes, yes, they're going around that side. That, even just one or two builders will wear enough of a path that they'll use it. So it means that the millers can go down here to work, uh, but they can go this way to go into the market. That will be a bit faster. Woohoo, that works. All right, so the two people that work here. So, right, you're not going to be a builder. You are not going to be a builder. And then I go to the mill, assign one of them to work there, and assign one of them to work there. And is it the right people? Yes, it is. 1801 and 617. Hooray! <laughs> Sweet. All righty, so we've got, uh, we've got them working there. So all we need now are the Baker family. So I put in that house there, and I put in that house there for the bakers, didn't I? I think. Yep. So you're not going to be a builder, and you're not going to be a builder. And as soon as they get the bakery built, we'll get we'll get them in there. So let's see. We're we're, we're still kind of hovering around that seventy-five to one hundred mark. We need to improve that a little bit. But I've got the feeling it's not going to take us much to kind of suddenly break through. We've, we've dropped right down to 30 now. Yeah, I think another another bakery. How are we doing for flour? So yeah, we've, we're doing pretty good on the flour. We have, have got excess flour. We just need to process it into bread. But the more we do this... The more if it's, let's see, look, we're, we're suddenly, we're back up to 100 again. So yeah, I think having a, a baker over here, which is going to mean more reliable bread sources for, um, for the market over here. And it should just mean that everything runs that little bit more smoothly. Come on, guy, get this built. What do you need? You've still got to get 20 tools and get that built. As soon as we break out of this bread shortage that we currently have um, I'm going to be able to authorize the house upgrading well I've got to do a little bit more work on the on the planks prob prob probably uh, this let's see are you full yet ah, he's up to 90 now I could help him out by storing some planks in here we've got we've got logs and logs I could say you know what store um, where's planks that is that pl that's polished stone where's pl I can't see planks it's so, these icons are so small. Uh, planks and planks. So that means we can store 50 planks in there, which means that we'll be able to build our stock up to about something like 450 or so. What are we, what are we at at the moment? 94. Yeah, so we'll be able to get up to around, around the 450 level. Uh, I think we're going to need at least one and probably two more sawmills because as soon as I turn this on the demand for planks is just going to be insane and I don't want to cause any problems if I can avoid them 
So making sure that we've got, I mean, we've got a fair amount of stone, but definitely a few more planks. We've got, we've got plenty of tools. So yeah, we should be okay. Have we got the bakery built yet? It's gotta be close. We've got the 20 tools. Come on, come on, get it finished. Male 326, sorry, female 326. Oops, sorry, it's just the, from behind. <laughs> That's a Monty Python sketch. Did anybody spot that? Of course you did. Old woman, man. Oh, I'm sorry, from the back you looked. Uh, we're almost there. Come on, give me my bakery. Give me my damn bakery. And the nice thing about having the bakery here is that it's right by the well, which is kind of perfect. Come on, come on, build it. We're almost there. One more, one more set of hammering and boom. All right, cool. So we go into here and assign, assign, and it should be these two people living here. And it is. Oh, and it's female leet. She is the leetest female in the village. Uh, I'm keeping it all, go away. All right, sweet. So now we've got two more bakers producing bread. We're already at the 100 level. So if these two could start churning out the... Oh, they've got the flour. See, flour, we've got an excess of flour. And they've got the water. So come on, start turning it into bread. Where are you? Oh, look, he's out, he's out back. Turning it into bread. Hooray, eight bread. Oh, look at this. We're up to 150, 160, 170. Oh, I think we might have done it. I think we may have turned the corner. We might be just back in business. 170, 100, almost 180, 180. Oh, man. I tell you what, shall I run it on for like a few minutes uh, and just see what's happening? Because it does look like we've turned the corner. And if we have, this is just going to like go up quite a lot. Go on, I'll run it for a couple of minutes and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I've let it run for about 10 minutes. And I've noticed it, it kind of goes a bit up and up and down it's like it's like two steps forward one step step back it'll get up to you know it'll, it'll go up and then it'll drop back a bit and then it'll go up a bit higher and drop back a bit and then it'll go up a bit higher are we going to get over 350 oh no see it goes up and then it just drops back a bit but it's uh, now we're over 350 yes guys i am going to officially call it the bread famine is over <laughs> well like to be honest as soon as you get over about 200 in stock then yeah you're you're fine. So hopefully that's going to continue to creep up and up. How are we doing for fish? Fish, we're up around 150. I think we could actually do with a little bit more fish going on. Uh, but we've got 200 wheat in stock still. Only, only like 20 flour though. So we definitely need at least one more mill. I would say two. But, and this is the, this is the important thing. We are supporting our, our infrastructure is supporting this population as it is. Now, if I bring up the villager list and we take a look at how many are assigned as builders. Uh, so our builder list starts there and it goes down, 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 down. Uh, I mean, how many people that is, I don't know. It's gotta be like, I don't know, at least 30 or 40 people. We've got enough people to for like another whole village. Like I could do, I could have another village going on, say over here or something. I'd love to do a village kind of, like crossing over here. That would be sweet. We've got some, we've got some berries down there and stuff. So yeah, I could have another whole village going on. Or, oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe a village over here. Because we've got stuff going on over here. We've got two lots of berries. We've got some stone. And we've got the, and we've got the fishing going on there. We could add some more fishing. Like either on the well, in fact, probably we could add some fishing on this side and on this side, um, which means we're going to be producing even more, right? Which means we should have massive surpluses, and then I can get back to the real fun of finishing off the city, which I cannot wait to turn on the housing upgrade and get all of these upgraded to these beautiful 
stone buildings. There's one more thing I've got to show you before the end of the episode. Uh, I think we're going to have a monastery probably over here. I may have some monastic bits around the walls. You, you guys were kind of keen on that. I think the majority of the comments were like, yeah, have, have some fancy walls going on. Um, so yeah, like we could just do tons more. There's one more thing I've got to show you, which was something that they included not in the uh, in the little fix update today, but in the in the previous one, which was like three days ago, and they've added in some visual details. So if we look at buildings like the little gathering huts, before it was literally just the hut, and now they've added in all of these baskets. Now it's only little details, but I don't know about you. I love the little details. They've added more details onto the uh, onto the stuff. It's like like they've got these little tools and things lying around now, which I'm pretty sure weren't there before. I know, but I know definitely the berry um, the berry baskets weren't there before. They've enhanced the. I know that they've enhanced the uh, the stone cutting. I think it's by putting these tools on. They may have added a few more bits of stone and stuff, but certainly the tools are new. What else? Uh, I don't, I know those two buildings for sure, but there are, there are several other buildings as well that they've, uh, they've updated. I'll have a look at the full list and I'll, uh, I'll show. Oh yeah, the warehouses. Like you can see that they've got these little, little awnings on the front, little cloth awnings. I like all those little extra details. It's sweet. All right, guys, we're going to leave it there for this episode. I'm, I'm I was going to say, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm pretty sure you did. I certainly did. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.